Hello, everyone. I want to give just a quick background uh, on myself. I grew up in Rochester, New York, which was the birthplace of Kodak. Uh, this is where photography was invented and actually digital photography came to be. Uh, but amongst all that, this is something that I'm most excited about. And I want to begin by starting with a simple click. Now, what I just did, I won't take a picture of you guys. So what I just did was I took a photo uh, using the Click app uh, on, my, uh, on my smartphone. This is the app that we've launched. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign that photo uh, and be able to push that image onto the blockchain. So now we can prove that this image was taken right now and that this moment happened. And that 100 years or 1,000 years from now, nobody can dispute whether or not this was real. So we think that this is really important. So what I'm going to show you today is a little bit about the Click app, which we just launched, which allows anybody with a smartphone to take a verified image and to prove what's happening around them. So misinformation and disinformation is one of the biggest projects of our age. We're seeing a huge problem these days with uh, fake news and now with artificial intelligence empowering anybody with a computer or a smartphone to make fake images it becomes a real issue. And the World Economic Forum has said this is one of the biggest issues that poses civilization in this age. So what we're building is a simple app called Click. And Click allows anybody with a phone to fight disinformation and to take pictures and they can prove what happened and that they were there. And we're using a blockchain to do that. So we can see here in the news, this is something that everyone's talking about today. Fake news is everywhere, and it's actually beginning to pose a big problem. We're ramping up to one of the busiest election years in the past decade, uh, with two billion voters in 50 countries going to the polls. So a lot of people have said democracy is at stake with these elections that are coming up, and AI is just making the stakes even higher, because we as citizens don't know what's real and don't know what's fake. So we believe it's really important for politicians and even regular people to be able to capture and share media that they believe is authentic. So people take a lot of photos. Kind of a cool statistic is in the past year, more fake images were generated than images were generated in the past 150 years of all photography. This is researchers spinning up uh, artificial intelligence models and training images and just the vast amount of synthetic data that's being created is immense. And the problem is only growing from there. I think everybody saw the OpenAI images from just a few weeks ago uh, where you as a human can't tell the difference. Uh, and the issue is even other AI models have difficulty telling the difference if this is real or fake. So it's becoming a big issue. So what we're doing is we're building an app that uses content attestation. It's a content provenance technology that's built on the industry standard and uses the blockchain as a root of trust. It's really pretty straightforward, although it sounds complicated in the back end. We take a photo, we sign it on your phone, it goes up to a decentralized file storage. Uh, today we're using IPFS, we're here at the Filecoin booth. Uh, we're interested in using other technologies like Filecoin as well uh, to host these images for, uh, for eternity, hopefully, and then we push the record up to a blockchain. Uh, so it's immutable and people can share this file and then independent third parties can go and audit this. So this is powered by what we call content sign, which is a piece of metadata that goes into the image that has a digital certificate, has your signature, the date and time and the location. And the picture that I just took is provably here in Denver. So, uh, we have kind of a unique positioning. What we say is we're the easiest app to use that helps you take verified images. We're not building for the Web3 ecosystem. We're building for anybody with a smartphone. Anybody in uh, a country that needs to get their voice heard or what they're seeing in front of them, they want to share that with the world. Uh, we believe that's really important. So like I mentioned before, you simply click a photo, you swipe to sign, and then you can share that image with your friends. And it's designed to be embedded in social media and other things like that. So we see a lot of use cases, but I think 
besides me just listing the use cases, it's a lot more fun to show you what, uh, what's going on here. And so we can see all of these really interesting pictures that were taken. And this is my, uh, my profile here. And this is the picture that I just took of the ceiling uh, of the events here where, we're, where we are. We can see that it was taken at today's date, uh, February 29th, uh, just a few minutes ago. It's verified. We have verified that this light is here. Uh, and we can see again the, that we're at the National Western uh, Complex Stadium. And that image is recorded in, uh, recorded for eternity. Now, the technology that's powering this is called C2PA. C2PA is the image standard that allows us to essentially verify uh, that the image is real. So we can actually go to the C2PA verify page and we can certify independently that this image was authentic and that we took this picture. So we go to the verify tool. We can upload the device, upload the image. And now an independent third party is able to say that this was taken by the Click app, by my public key here. And we can see more information about the metadata. And that's the power of a distributed system is that you can independently verify what's going on. And we're working with Adobe and the Contact Credential Organization. The technology standard is called C2PA to incorporate blockchain as a decentralized root of trust. Uh, which is pretty cool. We can even click here and we can see the blockchain transaction uh, from this specific image. So that's a bit about how it works with the technology, but it's also about having fun. It's about just going around and taking clicks of your daily life uh, and then being able to share them with your friends on social media. We're seeing people use this. For me, I do it just for fun, but we're also seeing people use this for protests and taking pictures of cultural events around the world, and even some people in Ukraine documenting what's going on uh, with the conflict. So we think that this is ultimately a really powerful tool uh, that, to get in the hands of people. And we encourage you to go on iOS and Android and download Click uh, and give it a try, and we'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah? Where in San Francisco? In, uh, I just moved to Sosalito, and so I take the ferry every morning, and I get lots of clicks on the ferry. Um, can you upload an AI-generated image so that... You can. So, so the... Well, you can in the sense that you can sign an image as C2PA standard, and that you can mark that image as it's fake. Today, we only support um, provably real images, but companies like OpenAI are supporting the C2PA standard. Uh, so all of their fake videos that they've generated will have a certificate that says this is uh, generated by OpenAI Sora so you can prove its origin. But today we, we only support real images. So right now it's just focused on images? Today it's images, videos, and documents. Uh, so things like press releases or uh, a quarterly financial statements for big companies. What we're doing now is going after enterprise companies who are really worried about their data being faked, be it an insurance company that wants to make sure a, a picture of a crashed vehicle is real or a company that's publishing quarterly financials. Uh, there's a lot of value in knowing that something is real. Good. Yeah? How long has this been like out in the market? So how long in the market? So click was launched in December, and we're just coming out of beta in the next week or two. So you can download it, and we'll, we'll push you guys into the beta release. And um, we're just starting to have people, people take pictures in Yosemite and in top of volcanoes in Guatemala and in Ukraine. So we're starting to see people all around the world, even with our beta release, use this for kind of documenting life on Earth in 2024. Yeah, any other questions? Good, thank you.